What up, though? What up, though? I figure I'll jump on here for a minute, man. I'm up. No gym today, man. I've been slacking on my macking when it comes to the gym tip, man. I'm back at it next week, though, man. For real, I can't even, can't even hold it on that. Uh, um, <clears throat> got me and the boys some bikes and stuff, so we've been out there doing that. We've been trying to get it together. I got a bunch of um goodies and stuff for the bike you know bags and stuff radio and all that shit i'm balls deep we're gonna be doing some riding this summer so hopefully you know we could do all that not melt because yesterday man goodness goodness it was it was a hot one yesterday it's damn near 100 degrees around this bitch and that's too much for somebody like me i don't like it that hot i'm a i'm a 80s 85 type dude give me that i'm good to go i don't need them 90s and shit but i ain't gonna complain because y'all know how i get later in the year so we can uh do that but before we uh get into the thing got any questions about the show being a guest submitting some music uh submitting a topic or anything like that mike with a mic 313 at gmail.com that's mike with a mic 313 at gmail.com you can shop with your folks. We got Deuce Fire Clothing. We got DetroitCousins.com, CreatedByJones.com, PlatinumStatus.com, Betty's Girls Party Event Planning. That's my wife's stuff, man. Uh, thinking of that, man, we got to get together, get that video together. I've been, I told her about it. She ain't did her in yet, so that ain't me. Um, I guess that's pretty much about it, man. I wanted to get on this joint. Cause I was thinking about something last night. Cause a couple people texting me this bullshit, and I seen some um, I seen a post about this uh, Steph Curry shindig about is he top ten? I just figured I'd get on here and yip yap about that for a minute before I go punch this clock. First of all, um, congratulations, cause I don't want nobody to think that. <clears throat> first that you know that i'm just going in on this man or anything like that um i'm not hating on this guy none of that man i'm just sit, telling y'all from where i'm sitting at and that's all i know how to do but congratulations on the win he got finals mvp finally got one should have already had one if you ask me um i'm just a fan of the game so i was happy with a good series everybody know i'm a Bron fan so I ain't had no dog in the race. I just happy that we got a good series that went six. I'm glad they didn't sweep them. I thought it was going to be 4-1, so I'm glad for that six game. Wish it would have went seven. But um, the Warriors handled their business, man, like they should have. Um, I still think they got to make a move. Um, I don't think they can run this same squad back. I mean, I know they got Wiseman over there, but I don't know, man. Like, they... You can't be turning an eagle dollar <laughs> for real, man. You can't be turning to a nigga that's 40 to give you crucial minutes in the finals. You know what I'm saying? And you can't keep asking Steph and Clay to play 40 minutes, you know what I'm saying, for five, six games and play good. You know what I'm saying? They're getting older, too. So I think they need to make a move. I don't know what kind of move, but I don't know. Maybe they need like a stretch four or something. Get, like, cut some, uh, get some shit off of Draymond, try to get a few more years out of him, I guess. But they asking a lot out of him, too. Mm-hmm. I know one thing, he hit that goddamn jumper last night on that out-of-bounds play. And I was like, yeah, it's over. When Draymond started knocking them bitches down, if everybody else cooking and he hit a few, y'all in trouble. But I don't know, con congrats to the dubs on the dub. So I'll leave it at that. But I am kind of pissed that um I ain't going to get a chance to see Marcus Smart at that parade. I really, you know, that's what I was looking forward to. For real, man, that nigga would have been on some full-fledged bullshit, man. I, and that's all I was really kind of rooting for. But they got popped, so it ain't going to happen. So that's that. And now you got um, niggas waking up or not even went to sleep on this it's Steph in the top 10 shit. And now for me, 
I don't think so. For real, I don't. And I'll run my reasons why, why not, and all of that. So I'll give it to y'all like that. Now, once again, and I'm going to say this over and over again to make sure y'all motherfuckers, because I know how fans get about their players and shit. Um, definitely top 25, top 20, definitely, no argument. 15, we could squeeze them in, but <clears throat> not top 10. And we talking about individual player. We not talking about um, team accolades, man, because a lot of people, you know, they, they do that. They want to try to um, – they um, – put that stuff in there about the team and all of that hold up one second man we got these scam likely folks man y'all know how they go just for real they call people like they know people but anyway um you try to put the team stuff in there and, I, and you know i'll do that but you know i'm gonna drop my top 10 what i think is the best players to ever play individually and uh, my order might change a little bit sometimes, and but the names pretty much stay the same. I pretty much got my top three and four in lock. Um, I might even swap the nine and tenth spot sometimes, um, but it won't be for Steph. I don't got him like top 12. I, I can say that. But I'll say this is about it. I got Brian, Shaq, Kobe, Jordan, Duncan, Kareem, and I I switch Magic and Kareem, but I got Kareem six, Magic seven. I go KD, Akeem, and then McGrady. Now, these is individual players. What I think about is what they bring to your team and what they do for your team. Rebound and defense, offense, how they control the game, all of that. That's where I, that's where I get mine from. So. And I eat like I say, sometimes I might even slip KG in that top 10. You know what I'm saying? Or I might throw Grant Hill in there, but we, that's just a whole other topic. Sometimes you might catch me on a day, I throw Iverson in there, man. You know what I'm saying? It depends on how I'm feeling. I'm that kind of guy. I really don't got it concrete. Now, before we get off into my list and you motherfuckers start tripping about it because I can already hear niggas already, I just want it to be known that um, I really don't respect like the old players in the old days and shit. You know what I'm saying? I think them niggas get far too much credit. Some of these niggas, man, and them 60s and most of them 70s niggas was just trash. Like, let's just keep it 100, man. Like, and them niggas wouldn't even make a fucking roster today. Niggas that they got in the top 50, top 75, top 100, top 150. Like, some of them niggas wouldn't even make it a fucking team today. Like, I mean, like, outside of niggas like Will, you know, Bill Russell, Oscar Robinson, like, niggas like Bernard King. I don't even think they got Bernard King top 75. Like, y'all niggas, like, for real, that's just some bullshit. Like, most of them niggas either wouldn't make a roster or they definitely wouldn't be putting up the numbers that they was putting up back then today. I, I think today, I think the two – late 80s to 2010s was the hardest that the game was i think today we got the best players so that's where my era is from 90s to mid 90s early 90s to 2010s is where i think the best players come from but these new niggas is something different so Y'all want to try to say it's because of the rules, the game is soft and all of that. Like, whatever, nigga. If you go to work and your boss gave you an easier way to do your job, you're not going to complain about it because of what your father went through. Nigga, I work at a plant, and we got electric tools and hoists and air tools. Nigga, I'm not about to say hand me a ratchet because that's what my father did. No, nigga, give me the air drill. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, and then if I get to work at my job longer and make more money than my daddy and win more awards because I'm doing a better job and I'm making more stuff for these folks, I can't, my, 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 my dad can't come to me and tell me how my shit just fucked up, so... That's how I look at it when it comes to the advancement of the game. You know what I'm saying? So I, I that's why I, I look at it 
that way when it come to older players. Like, them niggas was hooping in chucks, man. Come on now. These niggas out here running around on pillows now, man. So they going to get five, ten extra years out they ass. Then you can get out of a nigga like Bernard King. If Bernard King really could have been healthy, I don't know if anybody know about Bernard King, but he, like, really one of my favorite players. Like, if he really could have played fucking 20 – 20 years, like 17 years, come on, man, them numbers would have been nuts, man, especially healthy, nigga, you got to understand, most of them years he was playing, he was he probably one of the first niggas with tendonitis, but that's just me, man, I just feel like most of these niggas, um, <clears throat> I just feel like most of them when, when survived today, that, that, that got rings and MVPs and shit from back in the day, I mean, you just think of niggas like Bob Pettit and like George Mike and, um, Bob Cousy, Pistol Pete, these niggas, man, like, get the fuck out of here, man. Like, these niggas is on the top 75, man. And let me say that. That 75 list was so disrespectful, man. Y'all really going to have Westbrook on there. Y'all going to have AD on there. Like, come on, man. When we talk about individual players, man, and that's me doing a new nigga versus a new nigga. Career, yeah. Are we talking career or are we talking peak? Because if we talk in peak, who was the best player at they best? Russ ain't top 75, bro. AD not top 75. AD peak probably was in New Orleans. And that nigga, that was damn near worse than Dwight. It was, Dwight was better. Dwight Howard peak was way higher than AD's. And Bernard Kings was higher than Russ. Like, we can go on and on about that list. Grant Hill, you know what I'm saying? That's why I be saying, like... I don't know why AD on that bitch at all, but I don't think they had no Grand Hill. And I don't know, man. I got to look at that list again. Anybody know they know Grand Hill, my nigga, man. I don't, I know they be talking that injuries and shit, but fuck all that. Like, for real. Grand Hill was the fucking man. That nigga was Brian before Brian. But that's where the shit gets shaky with me, like, when it comes to Steph. Because they got Steph like 12. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't saying the nigga shouldn't be on top 75. I'm not no fucking hater. Like I say, I, the nigga top 20, no debate without even thinking. Yeah, it's I, I you can't find t 20 niggas to put him 21 to me. No, nah, I don't even want to hear it. 15, we got an argument. But that list was some bullshit because they was just trying to cover all the errors and fuck all that, man. And niggas feelings and all that. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> that first car was a Model T or a T model or whatever. But you motherfuckers would be sounding stupid than a motherfucker if you say you'll pick that over a Scat Pack or a Rolls Royce. Or, nigga, a Ram or a fucking F-150. Like, you got to be out your fucking mind. Like, some niggas be like, I like old school classic cars. But, nigga, if you need to get the job done, you need to haul some shit. You about to do a roof. You don't want no Model T. If you about to race a nigga, you don't want no Model T. If you trying to show off to some bitches and all that shit, you don't want. Like, so what good is the older shit going to do if we got new shit? That's all the fuck I'm saying. And it's better. Not just It's just not new because it's new players today that's not better than older players. I do not think like I don't think a nigga like Zach Levine is better than Oscar Robinson at all. So new just don't mean nothing to me. I'm I'm making a point about that, but I just feel them old niggas couldn't hang today. Like fucking trash ass Bill Walton, man. Picture that nigga trying to check KD or Greek Freak. Picture that nigga trying to play today like a fucking two by four linked up against a goddamn wall, man. Them niggas. Man, Fucking Dirk, KG, man, Bill Walton got to check these niggas for 48 minutes, man. Them niggas are high 40 and 20 before the half, and this whole ass will be in foul trouble and sitting on a fucking bench with a fractured rib or something by fucking halftime. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, that's just how I feel about it, man. Like, and, and that's not me hating on them. Them old niggas is cool. They can play. Like, I ain't saying that neither, man. Thanks for paving the way and all that. Thank you, but get the fuck out of here when it come down to top 10, top 20 to me, man. Like, for real. Like, I think the oldest nigga I probably got in my top 10 is Kareem. That nigga, Luau, that nigga can play today. And the nigga get you, the nigga he'll fuck around average 23 and fucking 12, a couple blocks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he'll come right in this bitch and dog walk the shit out the Joker. And nigga, he's supposed to be the MVP. If if Luau, nigga, the Milwaukee 
before the Kareem, if that motherfucker showed up on somebody draft board today, nigga, he's going top three. Top nigga, he might be the first pick, man, like for real. Get the fuck out of here, man. Put that nigga, who, who was the last draft class? Jalen Green, no, man, Kareem would have been the first pick. Luau would have been the first pick. Bill Russell wouldn't have been the first pick. That's how I compare times to time, man, by what niggas do, my fault, what niggas do and what niggas bring to a team and to the table. But I don't know, man. I just don't like that shit, man. Like I say, niggas like Bill Walk, man, they get the fuck out of here, man. Them old players, man. Picture fucking, I don't know, T-Mac and fucking Rick Barry going head-to-head -head on a fucking Thursday night game, man. Get the fuck out of here. Macca will abuse that nigga, man. Lock him up and abuse him. Nigga, I have 50 and he has seven. I ain't, and I believe that. You know what I'm saying? And that's not me hating. <laughs> that's just me admitting that the game has grown and gotten better. I don't know why niggas be having a problem with that. <laughs> Nigga like Wilt, ain't no way Wilt ass coming around this bitch scoring 100 today. If if Greek Freak checked him, he's not scoring 100. Prime the White check him, he's not scoring 100. Let's just keep it a buck, man. For real, they not scoring 100 on him neither. But nigga, if you put Greek Freak back when Wilt played, you put Shaq back, then come on, man. Niggas are average 100, man. Like, let's keep it 100, man, with that shit. I know the game is different and niggas wasn't even thinking that way. You got to take all that into account. But... We talking about skill set. If you put that kind of skill set, because everybody say Rick Barry and Pistol Pete, they was ahead of their time. Okay, so y'all cool with moving people in time. If we put Jordan, Kobe, Duncan, Shaq, Bron, you put them niggas back. Like niggas say Bron come play in the 80s. Why not, nigga? Rick Mahorn did. Y'all niggas be sounding fucking stupid as hell. Do you realize, nigga, niggas like... Nigga, John Starks was making all-star games, motherfucker. Come on, man. Y'all niggas killed me with that moving and shit, but I don't know, man. Like I say, that all that bullshit with, like, scoring 100, man, these motherfucking fours and fives of today, man, them niggas are high. We'll run outside at the three-point line, running that nigga off screens and chipping that nigga hips and all that shit. I know Will Athletic I ain't disrespecting. I'm just saying, these niggas is different, and they just as good as he was. Like, the average nigga today is about as good as the best niggas back then, and that's just facts, and anybody that try to argue that just want to fucking argue, if you ask me. I feel, I really feel this in my heart. If Will played today, that nigga wouldn't be shit but fucking Andre Drummond. Just a nigga... You know, a good nigga with the right team could really help. But ain't no Wilt carrying no team today to no championship. I don't think no big fella is. This ain't a big fella game no more. So if we going to move like that, then let's move. But if we're going to set, if we're going to put skill set, Wilt ain't the best big fella. You got Kareem. You got Shaq. Um, nigga, I might even, man, that, that center list, man. Wilt, Wilt ain't the best center. I, Shaq is flat out. I ain't going to go down that fucking wormhole or rabbit hole whatever the fuck y'all niggas be saying somebody told me one day i was saying it wrong i don't know which one right wormhole or rabbit hole whichever one it is i ain't going down that bitch shack the best one he is fuck over wilt and that's just simple as that niggas he that nigga ain't ready for that shit i think wilt might fuck the joker over or like kareem or fuck him well, i don't even yeah they'll fuck that nigga over but I'm just saying, Will played today, man. That motherfucker be Andre Drummond. <laughs> flat to me, flat out, just a tall nigga running. Mm -hmm. Nigga, fuck around, be Clint Capella or somebody trying to find some minutes. For real, I really believe that. But it's just different how the game is and how it evolved, man. Like, Bird, to me, nigga ain't shit but Clay Thompson. They about, they equal to me, man. Niggas be like, oh, Bird and the Rings and all that, man. That nigga play with 19 Hall of Famers, too. Niggas don't never talk about that. Robert Parrish, Kevin McHale, uh, Dennis Johnson. Nigga, nigga, he had Doc Rivers on one of them teams. Like, nigga, come on, man. Chill the fuck out, man. The bullshit was a RIP to Lynn Bias, but them niggas, was, they had the second pick in that draft. Y'all already had them motherfuckers and y'all was about to get him. Man, get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. That's why I say miss me with that, man. Like, for real. Niggas like Tiny Nate, Ultra Ball, man. Like, I like Tiny Nate. I really do. I think he can play today. I think he can play in any area. You can move that nigga up to 70. I mean, 60, 60s, 70s he can play. 80s, 90s, 2000s. He can play. He can play today. Putting up them numbers every, I don't think so. Flat out. 
I think that nigga today wouldn't be shit but a Reggie Jackson, a backup point guard. A nigga come in, dude, he's better than Patrick Beverly, but he not better than, like, Jamal Crawford. You know what I'm saying? That's just me, and I feel that way, man. But, you know, good niggas, man, just not franchise players like they was back then. So don't think it's disrespect because I'm not going – you know, I know sometimes when I be talking basketball, I purposely get disrespectful when I tell a nigga that some nigga ain't even better than Tony Snell. I'm going to try not to do that today. I'm going to try to keep it a buck. Um, like I said, they just good niggas. They just not franchise players, and that's just that. So call it hating or whatever, but them old niggas just ain't shit to me, man, when it comes to these new niggas. Not all of them, you know what I'm saying? Um, niggas like Willis Reed. That nigga ain't shit but Greg Monroe. Just a nice, decent fucking power forward. A good piece to have on your team. But if you got Willis Reed and KD, man, tsh, nigga, you better get your ass up here and set a fucking pick or something, nigga, and roll hard as hell and hope they double KD and he dump you that bitch for you to get a layup or something. But, nigga, we ain't about to be calling no plays for you when we got KD. Unless you got a mismatch, they better have Gary Payton Jr. checking you or something, nigga. Other than that, Nigga, we finna we all this shit going through KD. If Willis Reed and KD on the same team, nigga, this shit is going through KD, nigga. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. So, but anyway, fuck them, man. For real, this this about Steph and y'all trying to drag this nigga into the top ten because his team success, <laughs> for real. Mm. And I and I understand, man. And I ain't going for it. <sighs> now before I go there. Once again, the nigga Cole, I don't want nobody to do that. Can't take that from him. Nigga definitely changed the game, and he definitely made his mark. But one of the best shooters of all time, and part of me say he fucked the game up because he got a lot of these kids running around this bitch acting like they got shit like he got it. I was at the wreck one day. These niggas got the rebound. It was a four on two. All four niggas stopped at the three-point line. When we played... In the, when I was younger, we was looking for a oop in that situation. First things first, somebody about to get their ass dunked on. You know what I'm saying? Fall on two break. Let's get what we know we can get, which is a bucket. These niggas really think that they jumper is better than they layup package, which is due to Steph. So he did good for him, but he kind of fucked the game up. And I kind of wanted to get back to the big fella thing, you know what I'm saying? Because... Everybody ain't got it like Steph, man. God ain't tossed that Uzi in everybody's bag, my nigga. He put that bitch in just a couple niggas' bag. His, uh, Reggie Miller, Shuttlesworth, Ray Allen, shit. Uh, Mahmoud Abdul Rauf. That nigga had a fucking flame. Um, Craig Hodges, fucking flame, nigga. Like, for real, these niggas cooking. They not even not get like we be disappointed when they miss like that's how niggas be with Steph that nigga miss a shot man niggas be oh in the crowd like this nigga not supposed to miss that's how Reggie them was and I always wonder <clears throat> where Steph would be on the shooters list if Reggie and like Ray Allen was free to fire off 15 23s a game like this nigga can you know what I'm saying would he would have caught them niggas if they could have really came down, gun it, like they played basketball and dump it down to the big fella, they played different. So he had more freedom. And, you know, that's just what that is, man. But we ain't going to play the uh, shoulda, woulda, coulda game. We could do that shit all day too, man. He got the record. That's that. He one of the best shooters I ever seen. That nigga be hitting some shit. I was telling uh, my daughter and them the other day when we was watching the game, this nigga don't even put the heel of his foot on the floor when he be playing. That nigga all tiptoes in that cut to fucking half second off all of your shit. Because <laughs> we put our shit down and we launching off. This nigga launching off the ball of his feet. Maybe that's why he be having feet problem. I don't know. But watch how that nigga be playing and running off them picks, man. It be all tiptoe action. The ball of his feet and shit. That's a whole different kind of nigga right there. But like I said, he got the record. So can't hate on that. And I'm not here to hate today. Today I'm taking a day off from hating. I know I be hating on niggas and shit. But not today. Um, I just think that he's not top 10 so let me make sure i stick to that and um let me tell y'all why he not in my top 10 and i just want to give him his um do his just do while i'm doing that as well if i can 
Now, if I'm building a top five starting team, if 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 I could pick a fantasy team, five niggas, I'm to go play five other niggas, and I'm putting the rent money up. I'm gonna go Shaq, Garnett, Bron, Kobe, and Steph. Now, that's that. I might even swap Kobe for KD. If we build, now we putting the rent money up, goddammit. I need y'all, we going to 10 and, and I need my fucking money. I'm going, I'm probably going to go KD over Kobe. Is KD better than Kobe? No. However, building a team, whole different deal. That's what I'm saying. Where y'all niggas want to talk at. Because niggas love moving that goddamn shit around when it comes to their arguments. I don't like older players. I'm not moving on that. My top five is one thing. My favorite top five is another thing. My top five for going to win the rent money is a whole different ball game. Shaq, Bron, KG, I'm probably going to go Kobe or KD on that one. And Steph. But Steph is not top five players, man. Is, is, is Steph better than Magic to me? Fuck no. At point guard? Fuck no. Would you rather have? Get the fuck out of here. When they go down that point, I don't even know what Steph is. Do we count him as a one or a two? Same thing with Iverson. He kind of caught in that middle part, which kind of, to me, take take away from what he doing. Eric Snow was really the point guard. Jordan Poole and them, them niggas be Draymond damn near they point guard. So what do that put Steph at? Small forward? Nigga, we ain't even about to hide a small forward debate with Steph. Nigga, he'll be way down 15, 20, 30 some goddamn where. Point guards, the nigga is really not top five point guards. I mean, uh, yeah, he is. Let me let me not do that. Okay, but he's not better than Magic. Magic is the best point guard to me, if you ask me. He's the most valuable, got the most attributes, all that shit at point guard. I'm just saying we're going to have that conversation about where he go. He goes in the system. That's where he go. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> and shit, even with KG. I got Duncan as the best power forward ever. I like KG better. If I'm building a team, I want KG because I want Shaq, and you got to spread the flow. You can't have Shaq and Duncan in there clogging that shit up, and you got Brown running around, and you don't know if that nigga going to be hot today or how he going to shoot, but he do other shit so well. I want him on my team. I got him as the best player of all time. KD and Steph, they can do whatever the fuck they want to do on the court too. So I got Duncan as the best power forward, but whatever. And I think KD caught soft as fucking baby shit, man. But they ain't got nothing to do with skills on the court. Niggas be calling that shit like, oh, KD soft. Yeah, nigga. But when you need a goddamn bucket, all that soft shit don't matter. When the, when you could just pull up on a nigga, whether he 5'8 or fucking 6'8 or 7'8, KD can come down and mug your ass. And I don't give a fuck what you're going to do about it. Only nigga can contest his jumpers is niggas like... On, on movement, I'm talking about KD coming down the floor dribbling, you backpedaling, and he finna pull up. It's only a couple of niggas can contest that shit. Greek Freak, a prime Dwight Howard, maybe Wilt Chamberlain, and Kareem. Other than that, he's splashing your punk ass. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and that's skill set. Like, for real. That takes a skill, that takes timing, that takes... IQ to know what space you got. All that KD know how to play. I be hating on KD. He a hoe. All that Golden State shit. But my nigga, that nigga can ball his ass off. That's what I'm saying about Steph. Ain't nobody hating on that nigga. That nigga can go. But like I said, I got him in my uh rent. He on my rent money team. I call it my rent money team. When it's time to get that fucking win, I, I need KD running with me. Fuck all them other niggas when they come to that. But when building the team. You know, I, like I say, I need space for, and I need niggas who gonna get the job done. Like, you know, Iverson, my nigga, Grant Hill, my fucking nigga. But do I want Grant Hill and LeBron? No, I can get what I can get out of either one. You can give me Grant Hill or LeBron. If I got, if I swap Grant Hill out for LeBron, if I got Shaq, KG, KD, and Steph, we still good. We still gonna get the same shit. I, I like LeBron better because he just, better than Grant Hill, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, but I'm just saying, you can throw niggas in the mix when you got a powerhouse, that's all I'm saying, but that's 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 my top five, and uh, I don't think I'm losing to nobody, anybody want to put a five up against that without using the names I got, we can go for it, 
For real, I don't give a fuck what niggas talking about, man. That's my fucking alarm and shit, but... <laughs> on to Steph, man. Let's get back on this whole ass nigga. My only issue with Steph is the same issue that I got with players like Bill Russell, Bird, Jordan, to a degree. You know what I'm saying? Niggas swear I be hating on Jordan. I think Kobe is better than fucking Jordan. Jordan is a fucking 96 Chrysler New Yorker. Bron is a fucking 2020 Lamborghini. Which one? Like, I'm not saying that I wouldn't take that car at the time it came out. But, nigga, if both of them came out today, nigga, you're going with the Lambo. Like, let's just keep it 100, my nigga. Like, y'all niggas kill me with that bullshit, man. Like, Bron, I mean, Kobe, he took what Jordan did and upped it. So what the fuck make you think it's not better? Like, whatever, man. I'm just saying, y'all motherfuckers like to cram a team success on a nigga's resume and shit, even though it goes on his overall resume as a career. As a player, you can't say team success. That's all the fuck I'm saying. When y'all say top 10 players of all time, what are we really talking about? What they did in their career or what, who you want on your team, my nigga? That's what the fuck I'm saying. And that's where I thought we was talking from. And that's where I like to talk from when it comes to top 10 players. And that's not me really hating. Um, nigga resume ain't got shit to do with <clears throat> what he bring to the table. Um, this nigga Bill Russell was loading up on goddamn rings when it was only like eight teams in the goddamn league, man, for real. <laughs> Half them niggas had fucking day jobs, man. Y'all niggas miss me with that bullshit, man. Motherfucker working all goddamn day in the goddamn steel mill, then gotta go outside and hope his car start so he can go play an NBA professional game and he got a bang with Wilton Russell for 48 goddamn minutes, and this nigga been laying around resting all day because he making 100 grand, and this nigga making 12,000. You know what I'm saying? Like, get the fuck, come on. a year, nigga, and got to travel. That's gas money, all kind of shit, man. Y'all niggas do y'all history on the fucking league before y'all open y'all mouth about shit sometimes, man. Like, it was a whole different ball game back then. Go look and see that shit, man. I think it was like 8, 10, or like 12 teams. So they like, oh, shit. The, the Russell and Wilt back to back to the finals and shit. Yeah, nigga, all they got to do is beat the same nigga they beat last year, nigga, twice. Like, come on, man. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. The nigga that he's more rested than, taller than, bigger than, faster than, all he got to do is keep beating that same nigga. Bring Wilt ass up here today and watch what the fuck happened, niggas. Put that nigga on Sacramento. They'll still be the same Sacramento they is right now. Flat the fuck out and I believe that. But, you know. You got to go check this nigga and this motherfucker been chilling all day getting pedicures and shit and what we'll say fucking 20,000 people, man. For real, the nigga already got five inches on the nigga on height because <laughs> the league was smaller back then. For real, you had fucking six, four power forwards back then. Y'all niggas don't forget that nigga. Wilt was the tallest. Then it was Bill Russell, the towers of the NBA. Nigga, Russell, six, eight, the fucking tower. That nigga, regular nigga today, man. Mm hmm on height and shit man that nigga get the fuck out of here man i just think why y'all think fucking players back then was fucking bald as hell at 22 years old go look at them old pictures man niggas was stressed the fuck out <laughs> for that little money man niggas working all day got the wife and kids you got to get up in a few hours nigga after you come home and you just got, got off a skyscraper building big ass buildings and breaking driveways with concrete oh shit it's fucking six o'clock i got a game at eight you gotta run and fucking check russell man get the fuck come on man chill out y'all niggas killed me with that shit niggas gone knees and shit gone 28 knees gone they ain't out of doctors and shit we out today Niggas be looking 48 years old, be a sophomore in fucking college. And y'all want to push these goddamn rings on me. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. I ain't going for that shit, man. Well, not when it come to this shit. If, if Bill Russell played today, let me throw this nigga on somebody. If Bill Russell played today, man, that nigga be fucking, to me, it'd be Josh Smith, the nigga from the Hawks, the left-hand nigga, man. Maybe a Zion or something like that. Maybe fucking Tyson Chandler or some shit like that, man. I don't know. <laughs> And y'all niggas might really call that disrespect, but what the fuck is a 6'8 power forward going to do today? Keep that shit a buck, man. <sighs> nigga just be a nigga rebounding and filling the lane, hoping a nigga dump that bitch to him or throw him a oop or catch him and scribe for a layup or something, man. That's all that nigga be doing. Ain't no clearing no side of the court out for <laughs> Bill Russell in today's game. Man, chill the fuck out, man. I got Bosch over that nigga, man. Like, for real. <laughs> 
point is rings don't mean shit. That's all I'm saying. Team success don't mean shit when it comes to picking a player for your fucking team and who's the best players to play basketball individually. That's all the fuck I'm saying. Because if we going off rings, Russell is one. It shouldn't be no debate. The nigga got 11. Soon as y'all get with the Jordan argument with the rings and somebody bring up Russell, then y'all want to move the goalposts and talk about all the other shit. But when I say that Dwight Howard is better than Bill Russell, y'all want to bring the rings up. That shit be, that's the circle of arguing about the top 10 list. But, and I don't got Dwight top 10, by the way. I'm just saying I do think he's better than Bill Russell. Prime Dwight, give him here. But, <clears throat> Russell got 11. Um, that should put Robert Ory top five. That nigga got like seven. Like, come on, man. It was coattailing ass niggas on them Boston teams that got six, seven, eight rings that you never heard of. What about them? Do they go top 10, top 20 just because of rings? Get the fuck out of here, man. What's the nigga that was following Brian around? James Jones? I think that nigga got like four or five or some shit. And then he got a pocket full of rings, too. Never bring him up. What about them? That's what I'm saying. So get the fuck on. Let's get that ring shit up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Uh, who else, man? Niggas like John Sally. I think that nigga got about six or some shit like that. And John Sally is like one of the handful of players who won championships on multiple teams, like three teams. You know what I'm saying? Or some shit like that. I think it's like him, Brian, and like a couple other motherfuckers that won rings on three different teams. We don't bring that nigga up. <laughs> My man. Side note on that nigga, John Sally, man. I used to... uh. Be telling hoes that John Sally was my daddy and shit back in the day, man. It was some bullshit. <laughs> Crazy part is, uh, they believe that shit because I can hoop. I used to be like, yeah, why you know how to hoop? And be like, whatever, nigga. John Sally, my daddy. Like, bitches, I don't know, man. I swear y'all hoes be believing anything that come out of nigga mouth. But fuck all that. I'm saying. This, you, we, the ring shit don't count because Malone ain't got one and Barkley ain't got one. Melo ain't got one. Like, let's keep it a fucking hundred, man. You can't fucking tell me, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you say. Clay Thompson ain't better than Melo. And these niggas walk around with pocket full of rings, man. And they are good. Come on, man. Chill the fuck out, man. Fuck all that. Is John Sally top 20? Because them rings. Robert Ory, get the fuck out of here, man. And John Sally, that nigga win everywhere he go. I think that nigga might have won a ring on every team he played. No, no, no. He played. He, he stuck around too long. But point is nigga be winning like a motherfucker and the rings don't mean shit um they don't mean nothing to me steph getting another one this does nothing for his legacy for me if he would have lost it wouldn't have hurt it um i think his shit is pretty much where he at he's 12 to 15 or 12 to 17 top players man like that's just that without thinking you know what i'm saying and him winning this championship this year and this finals MVP ain't doing nothing but giving y'all Steph fans some more shit to argue about. Like, I'm a Bron fan. Soon as that nigga break that scoring record, oh, I'm going to be out here arguing like a motherfucker with y'all niggas, man. Like, I'm a, that's going to be the end That's gonna be the end all right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's because, nigga, y'all, if y'all want to go stats and then y'all going to be on some bullshit about that. All that fucking bullshit, the finals MVP, man. My brother Marlon come texting me and shit, like, soon as the fucking buzzer go off and shit, talking about, oh, uh, man, Steph ain't in your top 10 yet. Fuck no. You know what I'm saying? That shit ain't changed my mind not one fucking bit. Fuck that finals MVP, man. That shit don't mean shit. Nigga, Eagle Dollar got one. Like, nigga, come on, man. Why we don't say nothing about him then? Nigga, shit. Billups. Chauncey Billups got one. They should have gave that bitch to Ben. He the one put the work in. Shit. Uh, Tony Parker got one. Y'all don't say shit about him. Um, don't nail me to the flow. Don't don't nail me to the flow on this one. But I think that trash ass Bill Walton got one too. Um, <clears throat> underneath the DJ, I think DJ, I think Dennis Johnson got one. That fucking freckle face, fucking Ronaldo Ray looking ass nigga, man. I think he got an MVP. Do we not with Boston though? I don't think he got one with Boston. I think he got one with like the Sonics or some shit. Did the Sonics win? Man, I'm gonna have to Google some shit. I think this, I think Dennis Johnson, man, don't hold me to the flow on that, man. But but niggas like Tony Parker, Eagle Dollar, them niggas got Finals MVPs. So if that up your your, your shit and throw you in an argument because you got a goddamn trophy that go to everybody, it gotta go to somebody. That's what I'm saying, like for real. KD on Golden State was not the um best player on that team kd is a better player but in that system kd why you think you was getting single cover because they was over here doubling steph nigga that's all i'm saying in that system but, but whatever that's a whole nother ball game ain't doing that um 
I think Joe Dumars might have stole one from Zeke too. And when they uh had that back to back run. I'm googling this shit on my way to work. Fuck that. You know, I might I might have to double back on this one. But don't nail me to the floor on none of this. But I think Joe D stole one too. And I think underneath the DJ got one too. Y'all motherfuckers got Google. Go look that shit up, man. I could be wrong, but I kind of think I know my shit a little bit. Point is, fuck that finals MVP shit, man. That's all I'm saying. That shit go to the player on the winning team, man. Shit, Bron damn near won that shit that one year when they lost. He was the best player in that Golden State Cleveland series. LeBron was head and fucking shoulders over the competition. Don't fucking play. It don't go to the best player. It go to one of them niggas on the fucking winning team. Let's keep it 100, man. That's all the fuck I'm saying. And the same thing with that um season MVP bullshit, man, too. Y'all love to throw that shit out, man. They passing them bitches out. Nah, nigga, like participation awards, man. Like, nigga, you have a good season. All of a sudden, you better than this nigga. Nah, nigga, you, it's a difference between being good and fucking playing good. And James Harden showed us that he was playing good for a couple years. That nigga's not good, man. He's good, but that nigga ain't never been the best player in the league. Westbrook ain't never been the best player in the league. Fuck out of here, man. I'm talking about unanimous. He the only unanimous winner. Nigga, Shaq would have been the unanimous winner too. Nigga got one nigga that didn't vote for him. Literally one nigga that didn't that should have on some bullshit because Shaq probably didn't sign a fucking hat for his daughter or some shit. I don't know. But that MVP shit don't mean shit because think of this, man. It was a cold five years kobe was clear cut the best nigga in the goddamn league and that nigga got one mvp i think and it was it was a good five year stretch where niggas was scared of kobe and he was the best and everybody fucking knew it that's the fucking shit i'm talking about man um it was nigga 10 years nigga when Jordan was the best player in the motherfucking league he could have really got mvp nigga 10 years in a row nigga and that would have been no debate, nigga. And and this was before the rings. I'm talking about that that late 80s, early 90s. Jordan was the best player in the fucking league 10 years gunning. They just can't give it to niggas like that, man. And nigga Shaq had a good three, four year run where he was clearly the best player in the fucking league. Shit, and they tossed one of them bitches to Nash or some shit like that. Nigga, Bron had a six, eight year run, nigga, where he was clearly the best player. That's what I'm saying. Fuck all that MVP shit, man. That shit don't mean nothing. To me, this is just me. Steph ain't never been the best player in the league. To me. KD, Bron, nigga, he never been the best player in the league, nigga, for real. Y'all talk that bullshit. If everybody gets stripped the fuck down and you had the first fucking pick in with these niggas now all in they fucking prime, you not picking Steph. You never would have picked him. Go year to year through Steph's career and tell me when has he ever been. Fuck the MVP shit. When has he ever been the best player in the fucking league? That's what the fuck I'm saying. That's why I say, nigga, Westbrook, that nigga, Westbrook ain't never been the best player. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. That nigga ain't never been the best player in the NBA. Fucking triple-double ass. Talking about Brian padding stats, man. Get the fuck. Them niggas was tapping rebounds off the fucking tip to, so he can get the fucking rebound. All that 2020-20 game, rest in peace, Nipsey Hupsu and all that shit, man. They helped him do that shit, man. That nigga wasn't going in there gorilla-ing no motherfucking rebounds. Man, get the fuck. Harden ain't nothing, man. Dirk. Fuck out of here, man. I can't believe. And I uh, popped in my head, man. I can't even believe I'm about to say this, man. I'm finna get, I'm finna let some people down with this one, man. You know what? I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> I ain't even gonna do my man like that. But you know what? I'm gonna say it. Fuck, I'm gonna keep it 100. I'm gonna keep it 100, man. For real. Fuck it. Damn, I, I've my man. Iverson ain't never been the best player in the league, bro. Iverson, my fucking nigga. Never been the best player in the league, man. Carl Malone ain't never been better than Jordan. Not a motherfucking day in his life. Prime to prime. When Jordan and, because Jordan and Malone prime ran side by side. Nigga ain't never been better than Jordan, man. Let's cut the bullshit out, man. Them just, just facts. Barkley, Akeem, um, the Admiral, them niggas, uh, Dave Robinson and shit, man. And they got all that shit because Jordan was on his fuck shit. Let's keep it a fucking hundred. Them niggas ain't never been the best player in the league. <laughs> Oh man, that shit just crazy, man. So fuck that shit too. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying that most of the shit that y'all use to argue his case, just like most of these niggas, 
arguments go around team success. And and I have no problem with that because you ain't getting shit if your team ain't winning. So you got to kind of put that shit off on that. That's all I'm saying. You could be out there going all out and ain't shit up, man. But I don't know, man. I do know you just can't be out there too. I ain't no damn fool because y'all like to say that Bron is racking up these longevity stats, but y'all don't trash Vince. Y'all don't trash Robert Parrish or Melo, uh, Jamal Crawford. That nigga did by the dub in the league. Um, Haslam, ready to fight anybody ass. Um, I think Tyson Chandler might have did like 18, 19, 20 years. Why that nigga ain't leading in rebounds? That nigga 7-5. Like, come on, man. You can't just be out there. You know what I'm saying? But, you know. Fuck that. We on Steph. <laughs> and let me wrap this shit up again. Steph is cold with it. I'm not knocking nothing that this man did or doing or going to do. I still think he got something in the tank. I still think, I still think they got a quarter tank left. I think he can go three, four more years the same way he doing now, especially if they put pieces around him. But if they trade Clay and Draymond now and bring in Buddy Hill and, uh, I don't know, Tobias Harris, nigga, Golden State ain't winning no other motherfucking ring. Let's keep it 100, man. Like, let's just, come on, man. Because team success, we talking about top 10 best individual players, right? Not team success. When we get to doing this top 10 list, we ain't talking about what a nigga did on their goddamn team where they had help. I'm talking about if you had the first pick or the second pick or the third pick or the fourth pick, everybody on the fucking board. Steph is going to plummet way the fuck down probably the... 12 to 17, man. That's all I'm saying. And that's not bad. Do you know how many niggas touched the basketball nigga in the world since the world started? How many niggas tried out for the fucking NBA and played in the NBA nigga to be number 14, nigga? Y'all act like that's disrespect for some reason. That's how I know niggas don't even know basketball, man. Or playing, nigga. I played and I played against some good niggas and I went to these camps and you be like, nigga, everybody is good. And then on the grand scheme of things, we all trash. So what do you think you are as a nigga who hoop in the backyard with your son? Like, nigga, shut the fuck up when it come to, like, really getting to the shit of this. I understand fans and y'all see shit like me. I'm watching these new niggas. I'm a fan, but I got a little edge on y'all because the further you walk and the closer you get, you you know for sure how hard it is. Nigga, I know how good Steph is to get that shit off with how little he is. I know how good nigga Iverson is. That's man, Get the fuck out of here, man. I'm just saying, team success don't mean shit because Barkley and Malone, come on, man. Them niggas, what, what, what would they do to Chris Boss? Them niggas, man, that motherfucker, they, he'd be pressing charges on them niggas by the end of the first quarter, man. Come on, man, get the fuck out of here. But he got them rings on them, though. That's what I'm saying, man. Get the fuck out of here. Them niggas will shatter that nigga fucking skinny-ass collarbone. That nigga have fat, fractured ribs and all kind of shit before the goddamn half, nigga. AD ain't fucking with Ewan, and Ewan a regular nigga. So where the fuck y'all get off throwing AD in the top segment? Fuck out of here, man. Just remove the goddamn team success. Remove the emotion. Remove that my favorite player shit, if y'all can. And I know most y'all niggas can't, man. Just remove that hate for another player, because a lot of niggas be saying stupid shit like, Magic better than Bron because they hate Bron. Nigga, fuck all that bullshit. If you... Miss me with that shit, man. Cause like, like I said, KG my nigga. That's my guy. However, that nigga is not better than Duncan when it comes to one on one individual play. What a nigga bring to the team? Give me Duncan. If I got the next pick and those are the two best players available, I'm picking Duncan. Flat the fuck out. But KG my guy. If I got Shaq, I'm not gonna pick Duncan. I'm gonna pick KG because I need to spread spread the flow for Shaq. That's what the fuck I'm saying, and that's where y'all niggas get twisted. Iverson, Grant Hill, T-Mac, them my niggas, them some of my favorite players. I love watching Mac play. That nigga did his fuck, man. Come on, man. We get a healthy Mac, this whole top 10 list is something different. We get a healthy Grant Hill, fuck out of here, man. But I'm taking KD over all three of them niggas, and I think KD a hoe. They got fake burner accounts and all that shit. Fuck that nigga. But... Let's keep it a buck, man. <clears throat> T-Mac is more valuable to a team than Steph Curry, which means he's fucking better. The nigga rebound better. He play better defense. The nigga control the game. All kind of shit, man. Like, if you got four trash-ass niggas on your team, 
and you need that fifth nigga that's going to get you over the hump you, and you drafting and Steph and Clay is next on the board. I mean, Steph and T-Mac is next on the board. Man, you picking McGrady, man. They do damn near the same shit and McGrady is taller. So what the fuck is you talking about? Like, that's all I'm saying. I'm going Mac because he just do more, man. Nigga, that's, he just taller. That's, that mean more rebounds, a few more blocks, a couple steals, deflections, all kind of shit you get from just being a good tall nigga. For real. That's like when niggas say, oh, man, this nigga with this and all that shit. If, 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 um, Steph was 6'5". Yeah, if Steph was 6'5", that would bring in the other shit that McGrady already got. So all that woulda, coulda, shoulda shit, throw that shit out the window. It's what it is. Nigga, and Mac, to me, is more valuable to a team than Steph. When it's a trash-ass team. That's that's what the fuck I'm saying. Now, would Golden State be doing what they doing if you swap McGrady for Curry? I'm not sure, man. Because, because of McGrady's style. If you put if you put McGrady on Golden State, they'd be the Nuggets how they was with Melo. Ball pass around, pass around, and they stick in his fucking hand. You got to clear out the side of flow. There ain't no motion to moving because it'd be a whole different team. That's what I'm saying. Like so, styles matter, and styles matter in systems, but individual players. You know how they go, man. McGrady just a little more ball dominant, and it's stick in his hand. I get that. Now. You throw Steph on that motherfucking Orlando team that McGrady was on, they probably not even making the playoffs, man. Let's keep it real. Because he don't do all the other shit that it takes to fucking be a, the best player, man. Like, for real, man. Toss Brian, I mean, Steph on that Brian team, that Cavs team that he took to the finals that they got swept by the Spurs with. Swap Brian for Steph on that team, man. Pfft. Them niggas not making it that far, man. That's, they second lead scorer was Mo Williams, and he wasn't even starting. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's just do that, man. So get the fuck on with that. Niggas will be a lottery team. <laughs> and it's just because simply Steph just don't do all the other shit. He's a wonderful shooter, man. The nigga can dribble. He know how to play. However, a lot of his shit get off because Clay over there. Because Draymond rolling. Because you got Looney in the back waiting to catch. Don't act like that shit don't matter, man. For real, man. That's all the fuck I'm saying. We talk about individual attributes. When you building a fucking player, Steph don't come to mind. That's all the fuck I'm saying. I lay it like this, man. And this is just, just what it is. I got to get the fuck on. <clears throat> Every team butt naked. Damn, I might have to pause that. <laughs> Every team butt naked. Ain't that a bitch? But let's say the NBA started today. Everybody in their prime. Everybody on the board. Don't nobody got nobody. Right? No injuries. I don't want to hear no resume shit. I don't want to hear no ring shit. Get all that emotional shit. We talking about every player. Shaq, Wilt, Steph, Iverson, Kobe. Everybody in front of you at the combine. All these niggas, man. Bill Russell, Bill Walton, Bernard King, nigga, Dominique Wilkins. All these niggas at the fucking combine in front of you. And you got the first goddamn pick. We talking about just off skill set and physical ability. And you about to build a goddamn team in a franchise. What do you need for your team? Let's get the picking. Keep it a fucking hundred. You're probably going to go Shaq or Bron or Magic as that first fucking pick. Let's keep it fucking real with that bullshit. Then the next crop probably will be Jordan, Duncan, and Kobe. And you might can swindle KD in there. I don't know. And that's not in no particular order. This is just me proving to y'all the value of Steph. And he's good as fuck. I ain't, I ain't put no bum over this nigga. I ain't gonna do that today. When I, I, I save that for my homeboys, the disrespectful talk. I save that for them. Then you probably gonna go. What I say that the next crop gonna be Jordan them. Then you probably that's when the niggas start coming in like Kareem and uh, Hakeem Olajuwon, Grant Hill, McGrady, KD Mello. That's the, gonna be the next crop. Greek Freak. Uh, Dr. J, Gervin, Ewan, Barkley. The, nigga, come on, my nigga. All these niggas are better individual players than Steph, man. For real. And that's not no knock on Steph, man. They, they just better individual players. They more valuable to a team if you if you ain't got nobody. If your squad butt naked and you pick and run, y'all shoot from cap, pop. You get first pick and all these niggas stand up. You not picking Steph first. Fuck out of here, man. Steph gonna fuck around, go 
like I said, 12 to 17 or 15 to 20 or some shit, man. That's all the fuck I'm saying, man. Steph just landed in the right situation with that goddamn jumper, man. Keep it fucking hunting, man. Kerr whole ass too, man. Mark Jackson set them niggas up so goddamn sweet. You give a nigga a brand new car fresh off the line, new parts and all that shit, nigga. Goddamn, bitch running A1. Get the fuck out of here, man. Because like I say, you, you take Steph and you... Put that nigga on the fucking Sacramento Kings. Man, them niggas ain't shit, man. They out of first pick. <laughs> and you toss any of them niggas I just said on Sacramento, they in the mix. You put KG on Sacramento or Prime KG on these Sacramento Kings, they in the mix. Duncan, they in the fucking mix. Shaq, nigga, they fuck around and win that bitch. Kobe, Jordan, come on, man. Magic, all, come on, man. y'all niggas chill out, man. But I just ran off like 12 niggas. That's all the fuck. That's the point of the whole shit, man. Now, the rather have list is a whole nother list, man. That's what I'm saying. That build a fantasy team, that's a different fucking list. But as as player to player go, Steph is only the best at shooting. Like, he don't do nothing else better than no other superstar. I'm talking about any nigga in that top 10 list, Steph don't do nothing better than them. You can argue scoring with Kobe, Jordan, you can dominance with kareem and shaq it's arguments everywhere he his only argument is shooting he's nowhere in the rebound debate he's nowhere in the defense debate he's nowhere in the point guard debate he's nowhere in the fucking um impact on the game i mean y'all want to say i'm talking about i'm not talking about impact on the culture i'm talking about impact on the actual game the nigga stats does not do that the nigga is not going to check the best player on the other team that's what i'm talking about impact like that but that's all I'm saying, man. <clears throat> he couldn't carry a trash ass team like the rest of the niggas would, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. He just don't do enough. You know what I'm saying? And I always say that about Jordan. What is Jordan really the best at? You know what I'm saying? For real. And I don't want to hear nothing about heart and don't mention them rings because, like I said, we can throw Russell right in there because y'all niggas the first thing fly out your mouth when y'all talk about Jordan. And you can't measure heart because that's bullshit. And even if you fucking could. It'll probably be Spud Webb or Muggsy Bowles. Nigga, probably be Blake Griffin, nigga. Because <laughs> it takes some goddamn heart to be flying around like Blake was. And it got to take some heart to be playing and you that small and make it to the league. Like, come on, man. Y'all niggas on that bullshit, man. And again, this ain't no hate. What really make, what really make that nigga top 10 as a player? Like, I don't see it, man, because... I thought we all agreed that one thing don't get you in, man. Like, we all say a ring don't instantly get you in the Hall of Fame. I thought one thing didn't get you in the top ten. He's the best shooter i ever seen in my fucking life. That ain't enough for me. I'm sorry. And I, I still want the nigga on my team. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, man. I just thought we agreed that them rings and trophies and all that shit don't matter. But y'all niggas love to move that goalpost to go with y'all argument. Because if you telling me... That if you had the number one pick and everybody was at the goddamn combine and you would pick Steph, I got a bag of goddamn magic beans that I want to sell you because you a goddamn fool, man. He top 25, man. I'm not debating that. He's top 20. That's when I start listening. 15, now we going to start arguing. Top 10, I don't want to fucking hear it, man. Top three point guards, I might allow that. If we going to count him as a point guard. If we going to count him as a shooting guard, he not top three shooting guards. Top three point guards, we might get it. We might go, I, I allow it. You know what I'm saying? But best shooter, he definitely got it, man. Although I will always wonder, Reggie, Jesus, and Mahmoud Abdul Rauf, if they had his freedom. But he's nowhere near a better all around player than McGrady or Grant Hill or LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what the fuck it is, which means he's not a better player. But. He's not more dominant than Shaq or Kareem. Uh, he don't, like I say, man, the nigga just don't impact shit, man. Like Duncan and Garnett and fucking Magic, man, and Mac and G Hill, man. These niggas doing it all out there, man. That's what the fuck I'm saying, man. These niggas coming with triple doubles, my nigga. And I don't think y'all understand what a triple double do to a goddamn game, especially when you locking your man up. This nigga Steph be checking the water boy, man. They be hiding that nigga on defense, man. Y'all see that shit. Man, that nigga ain't never lined up against Dame for a full fucking game. Man, get the fuck. He can't score like KD. 
I know he can shoot better than KD, but nigga, KD can get you that bitch from anywhere as soon as he get out the car. You can get that nigga the ball. As soon as he put his car in park, you can throw that nigga the ball and he'll get you a bucket from there. And that's what the fuck I'm saying, man. So I don't want to hear it. And I and I that's what I really don't want to hear it when it comes to Brian, Kobe, and Jordan. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. We ain't even arguing that nigga up towards the top five. We trying to squeeze him in the 10 and we know who the five is or the six is. That's what the fuck I'm saying. So at least I we can agree on that. That's that's just the thing. When you pull that scale out on these niggas, man, your boy bag get pretty light, don't it? <laughs> like with, with the shit that he got in there. He got that shoe, he got that motherfucking Uzi in there. But nigga, what else in there? It ain't really much in there, is it? That's the fuck I'm saying, man. Let's just go through it and I'm done because I got to go um, slave. And I think I said enough. I think I made my point um, <clears throat> real quick. All the dudes that I name over him, um, what do he really got better than them? That nigga besides that fucking 50 cal on his goddamn shoulder. For real, he's not the tallest, he's not the fastest, he's not the strongest, he's not the best passer, he's not the best defender, he's not the best scorer, he's not the highest jumper. So that means no blocks and rebounds, I don't know, man. If you made a list of these and you ranked them all by each category, if you take the top 10 players that and you try to get Steph in the top 10, what do he do better than them besides shooting, man? For real, pull out the report cards, man. Steph will be on the end of each category except shooting that nigga have all f's and a A. for real niggas like garnett walking around with b's and c's and shaq got three a's and two b's a c and a f and brown and uh kobe and kd and jordan them niggas got all a's and b's man it's like for real niggas like a king they got b's and c's man like for real so if he not beating nobody in no category then what the fuck y'all talking about like that's the part i'm saying how is he better man i'm done with it because one thing i do know man religion politics and sports top 10 list nigga those are endless conversations to some niggas man for real just i'm just pointing out the real man when y'all thinking about y'all ideal player it's never steph let's keep it 100 man y'all want a six eight six nine wing nigga who can slash dunk and shoot that's not steph that's more like mcgrady ain't it that's more like brown that's more like kd that's more like jordan that's more like kobe like let's keep it for real man them the niggas y'all want like for real it's always somebody else with his jumper you don't never hear motherfuckers say what the fuck they had put into Steph to make the best player. No, nigga, he's too little. Like, for real, for real. It's, it's always somebody else with his jumper because that's all he really got over everybody else. <laughs> like, for real, man. That's not me hating, man. Nobody want to see Steph with Vince Hobbs. That shit whack. Fuck out of here. Or Steph with uh, Hakeem Olajuwon footwork. Man, that shit ain't doing shit. Or Steph with Brian Body. Like, nigga, that's basically Khalid el -Amin. Like, nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, who do y'all bill on 2k uh that's where i'm at i'm gonna leave it at that who y'all bill on 2k maybe i can reach y'all that way do y'all bill steph or do y'all bill kd and Bron and fucking Shaq and Co like come on man y'all know who y'all y'all know who y'all like and i understand y'all know what's best i ain't gonna say like y'all know what's best man y'all try to build everybody else with his jumper and i'm gonna leave it at that man i'm gone man i gotta go slave and I'm going to post this, and I can't wait to argue with some of you motherfuckers who still going to try to squeeze them in y'all top ten, and I will gladly listen and decline. But just make sure uh, you think it through before you come to me. Don't come throwing no fucking names to me like Dirk, because Dirk not in my top ten. I think Steph better than Dirk. Flat out. And I'll leave it at that, man. But I told y'all my top five. I told y'all my favorites. I think I pretty much covered every base. I explained why he not a top 10. or And I think I probably explained why he could probably ease into the top. No, no, I didn't. Fuck him. We can do whatever we got to do. I'm finna get the fuck on. Mike with a mic 313 at gmail.com. That's Mike with a mic 313 at gmail.com. That's if you got any questions about the show, submit the topic, submit some music, some advertising for your products or your business. I'm game for all of that. Deucefireclothing.com, DetroitCousins.com, PlatinumStatus.com, CreatedByJones.com, Betty's Girls Party Event Planning, 
That's my wife stuff. Do the little setups for the parties if y'all want to get y'all shine on. My man uh, Jeremy with the Created by Jones. He got his fragrance out. Check him out. The shit smell good. I'm not even a cologne nigga, and I'm with it. <clears throat> um, what else? I think Ari had some uh, new shit coming out, man. I'm going to make sure I do that shit. Try to post it on my page. Y'all know how I do it. Try to share y'all shit. So if y'all post it, tag me in it. I'll share it. Or you can tag me in it. I don't give a fuck. All my social medias is open. I ain't running around this bitch playing that fucking hide game shit. Um, y'all have at it, man. I'm going to get the fuck on because I got the grandbabies over here. I have my granddaughter here now, I think. And I got to kiss the wife and kids before I go to work. Um... Y'all have at it, man. I'm gone, man. You were just listening to. Thanks for listening to. You were just listening to. Mike with the mic! <laughs>